welcome once again to geospatial tutorial today we will be learning one of the most important applications of remote sensing and gis that is in hydrology remote sensing and gis has a lot of applications in hydrology we will be touching one of them today that is extraction of drainage network using a digital elevation model or dem dems are available free of cost online you can browse through the internet to get free digital elevation models once you download a digital elevation model please load it in your arc map document and save the document we will be doing this exercise using arc hydro tools which is a separate extension you need to install however the similar application is available using spatial analyst a tool which i'll be demonstrating some other time you have to right click on your screen and select the arc hydro tools extension to be able to work with arc hydro tools once done this is your arc hydro tools this is your arc hydro tools you can place it wherever you want and go to terrain processing and click on the button fill sinks this tool will fill all the artificial sinks in your image without doing which step you might there you go you have this option you need to specify that this is the dem by default that is selected because there is only one layer displayed in the table of contents and you can rename it the way you want i'll keep it as fil that is default and click okay now the filling up of dem starts the artificial sinks which are not actually the part of the image will get filled up and you will get far more there you go your fill sink operation is successfully completed click okay you can just remove your dem and this is your new digital elevation model that you will be using for the for the process you don't find much difference between the old one and the new one yes there are very minor differences next go to the same tab again and click on the button flow direction this tool determines the eight direction flow direction map that is you will be giving arc hydro dem as fill that is the new dem and uh, flow direction grid as fdr i'll keep it default and press okay make sure that there is no other file named fdr otherwise you will have to change your name right now i do not have any na file name called fdr in that particular folder i'll click okay your process for determination of flow direction has commenced make sure be aware that uh, every pixel has eight neighbors and the water that falls into one pixel has a probability of moving in eight different directions whichever cell whichever adjacent cell has the steepest slope will get the water from the pic there you go now your uh, flow direction operation is successfully completed and this is your flow direction map you will have uh, eight different colors because every pixel has eight neighbors now next step is to go to the same tab again and click on the button flow accumulation this calculates the accumulation of flow this will ask for flow direction grid whatever is generated now give that and flow accumulation grid by default is named fac now your flow accumulation operation is completed click okay now you can almost see the traces of 
your uh, drainage network however we need to do further more uh, processing to get your uh, drainage network go to the same button again and go to the option stream definition that will display an option called uh, stream definition uh, you can choose a name I'll select the default name str and click OK now you have an option to define a stream this asks for enter a river threshold that is the number of cells to start a river here you need to specify a value for which you think that a stream should be constructed say you are working on an urban dam which is having very high resolution and uh, you are planning to extract every small uh, drainage network there you may have to enter a smaller value say you are using uh, a regional scale digital elevation model where you need say one kilometer of a river to be delineated on your digital elevation model then you will be specifying a higher threshold I'll be keeping it around uh, 20,000 which means to say that if 20,000 pixels are arranged in a manner that looks like a river should be delineated as a river if it is less than 20,000 do not delineate it as a drainage network or a river then click OK now your stream definition operation is successfully completed click OK and remove all other you have a stream here but it is very difficult to see because it is in grid format you can zoom in to see that one however the better option is to convert it into shape file so that you will get the stream properly you have a spatial analyst tool please select this spatial analyst tool in that one you have to go for spatial analyst hydrology you have all the operations whatever you have done here listed here now you will be selecting an option called stream to feature that is you have got a, a grid of stream which you want to convert it into feature this will display the stream to ra feature dialog box select the input stream raster that is whatever you have then you need to specify input flow direction raster that is FDR in our case you can change the output folder where you want to save this file I'll consider it as default and click OK now your features are getting generated from your there you go your streams have been delineated these are your streams for this digital elevation model however you can see that these streams are not generated because you have defined 20,000 in your stream definition part if you select a minor uh, say a lesser value say 5000 say 500 you will have all these minor drainages uh, this is how you delineate a drainage network using a digital elevation model however the work may not stop here if you want to find out the stream order as well then you will have to do some further process go to the terrain processing again and select stream segmentation option to segment your streams but 
there is an easier option to do the stream ordering i'll go to this uh, special uh, analyst hydrology tool and uh, go to stream order option which will display this dialog box i'll enter the input stream raster please enter raster and not the vector file that you have generated right now so enter that raster and give the input flow direction raster that is fdr and you can accept the output raster as default and click ok now you are now now you are uh, stream order e however you will not be able to see it very clearly because uh, it is again in a grid format you can see here there are four orders first second third and fourth order streams we'll do the same process again of uh, conversion from grid to vector to get your exact stream order shape file go to the same function again stream to order and select the input stream as stream order and uh, flow direction is fdr as usual and click you will not be able to make out the stream order here because you have not classified your uh, new file we'll go double click on this particular layer and go to symbology option and you will have to use different kind of features you will go to category and uh, select on unique values and select grid code grid code is what you call as stream order you'll click on that and click here load all values you can uh, change the colors if you want i'll keep as default and click okay now you have your ordered streams there you go accordingly whatever you have this that is these are first order streams then second third and fourth order stream this purple colored ones are fourth order streams however if you have given a lesser value in stream definition say 500 you would have got up to eight orders of streams that you can experiment when you have your time this is about stream definition and creation of drainage network using digital elevation model in arc 